All right, what's going on, everyone? How you been? What's new? What's good? What's up? <laughs> so I had a cool plan. I was thinking about this actually after the last episode. I want to turn this whole thing into like a bunch of wheat. That way I can have a big source of food and I don't have to ever be low on food because that sucks because then you can't run. So it's like if you run into a problem at night, you can't. You run, you get low in health, you get hit once, and you die. That actually happened to me. Oops. That actually happened to me when I was playing on my... My buddy bought a realm, and we've been playing on that. And when we first spawned in, it was bad. And we were running at the middle of the night, and as soon as we got hit once, we just... Or we ran out of, like, uh, the hunger bars from running. Like, just, like, straight up sprinting. It Yeah, it was not a good time. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this all here. So I'm gonna do a lot of terraforming. Oh, nope. To make a shovel, you just need one piece of cobblestone. Okay, so what was I gonna talk about? Oh yeah, my house. A lot actually happened this week, surprisingly. I thought for sure nothing was gonna happen, but they did a lot. They what did they do? So last time you guys saw it, they had they did they put the drywall up, but they like didn't really it wasn't sealed. But this time we went. Well, we're gonna go Sunday and get down and look. But just by driving by, you can tell they did all the they covered all the bolt holes and everything and. The what was it? Ah, uh, I can't think right now. The seals, yeah, the seals. <laughs> the like the in between, like the piece of drywall. I think I talked about this last time, and I didn't know what it was called, but and no one commented that they knew what it was. But oh well, I guess it's not really a common thing to know. I don't know. But yeah, they. Uh, they did that and they put our doors in, like our front door and what else? The, gar the door to the garage and I don't know about the inside yet because I haven't been able to go inside, but I'm hoping, we're gonna see tomorrow, We're gonna. I'm hoping they did the inside doors too, that'd be really awesome. And then when we, uh, I'm gonna need more dirt, dang it, oh wait I have dirt. <laughs> Hello. What else? What else did they do? And next door, they actually, throughout this week, they poured the concrete for the house next to ours, um, like their driveway, and their walkway to their front door. And um, there's they left the machine there, so I'm assuming our house is next, which is going to be really cool if ours is next, because then it's, there's not much left to do. And then I remember we, oh, what was the day? It was Friday. Yeah, Friday we went and when we, because we got out of work, we get out of, oh God. On Fridays, we get out of work really early because normally we go in at like 8.30 or 9 and then we get out at 4.30, 5.30 around there, whenever. Depends on how busy we are. But um, on Fridays, we go in at the same time, 8.30, 9.00. But we actually get off at 2, yeah, 2 o'clock. So, since we went earlier Friday, we, they were still there working because they, they worked till I think, like, last, one time we were there at, like, 6 and they were still there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty crazy. They, they work late, but I don't know if it's because of what's going on right now. They're just trying to hurry before they have to, like, stop, you know? Like, I don't know if what's going on. I don't know how that's going to work if they have to stop like progression like in the middle of building the house so that's the scary thing <laughs> you don't know if they're gonna be able to finish or if they governor tells us to go into quarantine or whatever and yeah i don't want to talk about that because i really want our house to get done i would hate to have to be delayed even longer because of all this but only time will tell so yeah um no I don't want to make another one. I'm going to just make two so I don't have to deal with this. 
Do I have the materials? Oh, no, they're two cobblestone, huh? Yeah, I'll just make two. I don't need multiple. So yeah, they did a good amount on our house. Okay. I had to take a little deep breath and calm down. Because I didn't really know what I was like. I don't know where I was going with that last clip, so... But anyways, so now I'm, now that I thought about it and actually processed it, <laughs> we're, uh, when we went at early at 2 o'clock, we actually got to see the people there, what they were doing, you know. And so when we went, they had the, um, there was a guy there and he had like, I saw big old flim, like flimsy pieces of wood. He was like, like little strips. And I was like, okay, that's got to be the, um, what does he call it? The... Oh my gosh, I knew it earlier and now I don't know it. Uh blah 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 blah. Like the moldings, yeah, like the the bottom baseboards, there you go. <laughs> gosh. So airhead today. But yeah, they they had the baseboards, so like I guess they I'm hoping they nailed them to the bottom. And they also might have been, you know what, now that I think about it, they might not have just been baseboards, they might have also been the um the framing for like the like the doors and so hopefully they put all those up like the baseboards and the all the floor or like the framing for the doors and everything because if they did that there isn't anything keeping them from painting this week they should be able to paint the inside of the house and then once the paint for the inside of the house is done they should be able to Put all the cabinets in and then once the cabinets are in they can put in the uh countertops and then once the countertops are in they can start on all the flooring and honestly they move so quick i don't even doubt for a second that they're gonna have the house done in a couple like honestly by the week after next i swear they're gonna be done it's they're moving so quick it's awesome i'm really happy like now that they're moving really fast like it's a good thing, but it's a bad thing, you know. Like, so, cause if they miss something that they're like, not really paying attention or something, and they, but that's what the walkthrough's for. We find something that we don't like that they messed up, then we tell them and they fix it. It's a cool thing. And what um, so yeah, there's some other news that happened also this week. Like we weren't really sure recently, uh, like when our house was gonna be done, cause like I said last episode that. Pretty much right now while i'm recording this episode we were supposed to be already signing and our house was supposed to be done well it's not obviously so we were so we got a hold of our realtor and we asked hey can you um call the the lady that when we were buying our house like the lady that works for the comp the, the builders like the company the builders to see when she has any updates on when they're supposed to finish because obviously they're not going to finish by the time we're supposed to close and so she's like, yeah, well, I'll get a hold. I'll try to get a hold of her, and we'll see what she says. So a few days go by, and I, like, or that was on um, Monday. I text her that, and didn't hear nothing all Monday because that was in the very early morning. I text her that, so I didn't hear nothing all day Monday, and Tuesday came, and then all day Tuesday didn't hear nothing. And so I was like, ah, man. And I was like, and I didn't really want to bug her, so I was like, I'll just wait and see. Whenever she gets back to me, she gets back to me. Oh, well, like, you know. Well, she calls me and tells me, oh, yeah, they're they're running. So what the lady had said from the mortgage or the builder company was saying that they're running behind a couple weeks. And I don't know if, if my assumption's correct, but that to me, that sounds like they're going to be done with the house in two weeks. So if they're two weeks behind and they're supposed to close this weekend. Or, well, technically it would have been Monday, but so two weeks from Monday, they're going to finish, right? Like, I, that's what I'm assuming, and I didn't really double check with my realtor because, like, I feel like I've been bugging her a lot, and so I don't want her to be like, really, dude, leave me alone. Stop bugging. <laughs> I 
So yeah, I'm just like really excited because like we never had a house before. You know, it's it's I don't know. I'm just excited. And so I'm assuming it's two weeks. Don't know if that's correct or not, but that's what I'm thinking. So I so yeah, I asked my mom and I was like, hey, is that if she said that's what they said, isn't is that am I correct or am I like like am I wrong? Am I just assuming that they're gonna be done in two weeks or what's going on, you know? And she's like, Yeah, honestly, like if they say they're two weeks delayed and you're supposed to finish this week, then yeah, obviously it's two weeks, it's gonna be done. Come on, Brandon, you should know that. I was like, Well dang, dude, just stop being so rude. I was just kidding. Uh, I, was like, I wasn't gonna go cry about it. But no, yeah, she was like saying, Yeah, like, well, obviously, you're right, what you said. And so I like as soon as I got off the phone, like I asked her because like that's who I've been asking about everything because I remember we never purchased a home before and so I figured well, let me ask my mom's bought two homes I think yeah she's bought two homes before so I was like oh well let me ask her and so yeah so once I confirmed my assumptions with her I went and my fiance Cambria she was out in the living room with and talking to her her grandparents and her mom and her little brother and sister. And so I went out there and I was like, hey, I just got off the phone with the realtor. And she finally got a hold of the lady from the place, the, what's it called? The builder, the, <laughs> the building company. That's all I'm going to say. I don't really know what else to call it. But I just got off the phone with the building company lady and they told us it's going to be, they're a couple weeks behind. So in two weeks, we're going to be moving. I'm assuming they're going to be finished. They bought, they all looked at me like they all had all their jaws were dropped. They're like, what? I was like, yeah, so we're going to possibly be moving out in two weeks. And like <laughs> everyone was just like in shock that the house is going to be done already. And it's, it's just all crazy. Like, like there's everyone's so excited and well, yeah, they're obviously excited. They want us to get out. No, I'm just kidding. Only some of them feel like that, I guess. But, um, yeah, they're excited for us. And they're like, oh, my gosh, it's so soon. And, like, and then Cambria's grandma looked like she was going to cry. And I was like, I felt bad. I was like, well, like, but they're happy. I don't know. They're, they're happy for us, even though they don't want to see us go. They're happy. But, um, but yeah, they're, their reaction was pretty funny. I wish I should have recorded that because they were all just, all their jaws were dropped. They're like, what? Like, they just, <laughs> I don't know. It was crazy. It was funny. But yeah, so that's what went on this week. This pretty, and then uh, another crazy thing at my work because uh, it's kind of, it's, it's cool, but it's kind of not, well, I get like, if you hear it, oh, yeah, like, I work with all girls, and that's it. Like, everyone, like, that's a dude, like, oh, dude, that's cool, that's low-key. Like, no, it's just, like, it's a bunch of people that are, let's say, not in my age range. We'll just say that. But, um, yeah, so it kind of is, like, it's, eh, whatever that, like, with my work, it's just me and, like, a bunch of other people. So it's, like, pretty boring. That Like, I don't really have anyone to talk to. And, um... I I do like my desk person the person I share like a a room with a, like not room what is it an office with the person I share an office with is pretty cool but like other than that it's kind of eh you know and so they're all like really scared about like the all of this illness that's going around you know what I'm talking about <laughs> they're all worried about it so they wanted to go home and work from home and so today like they are this starting this week everyone started actually working from home except me cambria and my mom the boss obviously so yeah um it's just us three at the office and it's honestly pretty cool like it's so chill we're all listening to our own music and we're all just having a good time i don't know it's really cool like it's cool that all this is happening but then it's not because obviously like what's like what the result is of some of it like like there's like the one person that oh man they what did they do they like trump like told them what to 
like a like the 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 like the what's it called the cure for it to do this and do this and they ended up like passing away it's kind of crazy that and then he doesn't even have any remorse or nothing like he just like eh whatever you know i don't know that is kind of crazy but hey that stimulus check though yeah oh i need more wood yeah apparently they passed that that they're gonna do that check where every adult's gonna get so and so from your if you filed taxes or whatever yeah it's i don't know we'll see if that's actually true don't need a, don't know if i need that many sticks oh my god i don't know what i'm doing so I kind of want to talk about the plans for this because I feel like I'm not really clear of what I'm going to do. So obviously right now I'm working on, I need food so I can build all this, but I had an idea and I wanted to see if anyone is going to cooperate or see what there, anyone's thoughts about this. Cause I'm going to need to start clearing out some of this wood around here so I can expand this wheat. Cause I want to expand, I want to flatten this all out and then make it like gradually go up like on this side. And I want to put it all, like I said, like I want to make a giant wheat field or maybe just spread the wheat field that way. That way I have a bunch of like never ending food. Like it's always going to, I'm always going to have like a full stock of food that way I don't have to ever worry about that. Cause I've done, I've started worlds like that where like I'm worried about food and it's no fun always low on health and always have having to avoid a fight and everything so not this episode but i'm thinking next episode i want to do this cool thing on the top right corner over here maybe here or here one of these corners i want to start putting a little counter like counter one two three like number counter of and i'm gonna have like a little tree icon like emoji or something like the little or like the sapling a picture of like the sapling that'd be cool actually yeah that'd be better a little picture of the sapling with a check mark and then like a picture of the sapling with the x and so what that's going to be is the, the sap i'm going to have a the saplings with the x is going to be the amount of trees i've taken down like i've chopped down and then the oh man the sapling with the check mark i'm gonna do the amount of trees i've cut down i mean the amount of trees i've planted and what i want to do is end up doubling or tripling the amount of trees that i've chopped down versus planted that's gonna be my plan i think for like a starting like as a, a continuing like a, a forever going thing on this let's play so that way it's like you know it's kind of like a aware like an environmental toll awareness i don't know what do you want to call it but but yeah i want to clear this out and i don't know how i'm gonna keep track obviously i'm gonna have to start fresh i'm not gonna be able to do it now and count what i've done so far because it's look at this <laughs> it's all <laughs> mixed around it's not i don't know if i'm gonna be able to even count that you know it's it's not gonna be able to be counted it's something that if I can figure out how to do on my editing software, that's something that's going to start next episode for sure. So in that case, let's hurry up and clear all these out. Just kidding. No, I'm going to go back and I'm going to obviously start at this video because I've only cut, cut down a few trees or chopped down a few trees. So I'm going to start it counting from this episode, but the timer is going to be included in next week's or yeah, next episode. It's going to be there. So the good thing is, Look at all these saplings. I only cut down, what was it, two trees right here or three trees? And I got so many saplings. I got five saplings, and that's not even including what I already put away right now. So I already have a good amount of saplings right there just from starting this whole uh, counter. Like the. I, don't know, I feel like I'm when I say counter, I'm thinking counter like a house counter. <laughs> I don't know why. But yeah, so this little system that's going to be going on, it's, I feel like it's going to be a little better. Maybe a little cool. I don't know. There's a little reminder of what I'm doing, and, and so I don't feel so bad for like chopping down a bunch of trees. I don't know. I feel like it'd be cool. If not, let me know down below in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about that idea. 
if I should do it because obviously I'm gonna have a whole week to read comments if and see if you guys want that idea if it's dumb if it's a good idea if it'd be a cool little feature of the channel or I mean the let's play the what is it called not the channel the the I don't know what to call it like the series there you go hey so yeah let me know if that would be a good addition to the series a, a little time <sighs> I'm trying to put these all away oh well I'm gonna just keep them let me know if that'd be a little a cool little feature of the series that'd be a, I think that'd be cool pretty awesome but yeah what else can I talk about I feel like it's just like a it's constant like updates on my life or something I don't know <laughs> but I guess to some people it's entertaining because well, some people watch these full videos. I've seen the I see the watch time go up, so someone's watching, and someone's maybe liking. I'm not sure. <laughs> and I think these I'm gonna don't know if I want to even keep them. The watermelon, yeah. Well, I'll keep it. I'll keep it as a random little plant. I'll just keep it random but um getting I'm gonna slowly grow more or get more and more seeds and eventually fill out this whole thing what I want to do I need to go oh, where did the dirt go that I had I want to go and fill in I have a bunch of dirt good I want to fill in this ring like I don't want to just earn a ring but this little pond I don't want it to be all a big pond I want it to be usable space for growing you know so what I'm gonna do is from oh that was an accident from oh, from every block I'm gonna go in two blocks go right there Okay, the good thing about having a bunch of slabs already is I can use them. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have a use for them, you know? That'd be cool. I actually had a use for something that I made. So the cool thing about making like the, not a whole block, it won't block the water. Like it won't make it so it blocks the water source. So it's still technically a source. So it won't be like making nothing right here grow. It'll still grow, which is a cool thing. And so to access each side, I'm going to put a little thing so I can go and harvest and get each plant and still go around right here. Yep. Still make it all the way around. So we'll do that on that side. And I think on... Mm, I need it on both sides. I think just one side's good. Wonder how I can get some light over. Here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to, unless I make uh, lanterns and make like little like street lights kind of looking thing. But yeah, so that's my garden area so far. I'm gonna leave it, let it slowly just fill this up, and then when this is all filled up completely, I'll start chipping away at that area over there. But right now, I just don't feel like it's necessary because. Don't even have enough seeds. 
to grow. So I think I'm going to get going on chopping some trees down. Because this is obviously all cleared out already. Let's start uh, going this, yeah, in this direction. Need to build a house somehow. So other, some other little vegan news I can say, I guess. I barely found out there's this new coffee, not new, but new to me, a coffee shop downtown where I live, and it's called North End Coffee House. Did not know it existed. It kind of sucks that, like, it takes this whole illness to make it, make people, like, find that stuff that's local like a local business you know like it sucks like i like lately i've been doing nothing but supporting local businesses like this week at like the lunch we didn't like we didn't like there's a day we didn't make lunch oh come on really i'm gonna have to move these these are annoying but there's a day we didn't make lunch and so we ate out at this place that's uh, uh it's called pint house it's like a I guess it's like a brewery. I don't know because there's another place across the street from me called Prison Hill Brewery. But yeah, we went and had this. They had the Impossible Burger at Pine. Some say it's not vegan. Some say it is. I honestly, I feel like there's that's like a, that's a whole different debate. That's not even it's not even worth getting into right now. But yeah, that's um we had that and it has like what did it have on it? It had avocado like like pretty much like guacamole like it was like an avocado spread on it with a big like fried night like it's pretty much like a big tortilla chip and then it had what else did it have in it because like, i didn't get it i got because my fiance got that i i didn't get the burger i got their it was called a herbivore pizza it had a bunch of um what did it had it had mushrooms red onion and tomato roma tomato and I, gosh, I don't, I've tried so many times, so many times that I do not like mushrooms. I hate them. I don't, oh, I don't, it sucks. I like, I want to like mushrooms. I just, they just, I don't know, like the texture and just like the taste of them. I just can't get over it. It just sucks. Like, I really want to like mushrooms because like, it's like sucks like to be like, not like, like there's like literally, that's like the only vegetable I don't like. Like even people like when they see eggplant for the first time they're like ew that's so gross looking like it looks like it's nasty like, eggplant's freaking good don't <laughs> i don't know like that's like the only vegetable well i'm not gonna say only vegetable because there's different there's so many different vegetables but that's like the only common vegetables like i, I don't know i don't know like maybe say a mainstream to <laughs> the mainstream vegetables <laughs> Like, that's, like, the only one I don't like is mushrooms. I just, oh, man, I don't know. But, yeah, so that pizza had, it's the, the mushrooms, red onion, and aroma tomato. And it had, what is that? What is that? Ah, stupid bunny. Dang it. Thought you were another creeper. I don't know how creeper would spawn because I haven't, haven't let night fall, but... Man, I thought that was another creeper I'm gonna come blow me up. I'm scarred for life since that one episode. <laughs> um, so yeah, that pizza has all that, the, the tomato sauce, and they actually have vegan mozzarella cheese on the pizza. It's pretty good. I don't know. It tastes like the Daya shreds to me, but it melt. It's melted really good. Like when they serve it, when they served it, it was melted. It's not like it's still. Hey, a wolf. Wolf, aka husky. He's hunting that. No. Bad pup. Bad pup. Don't hunt. Look at that. Look at those evil eyes. Look. What the? No, get away from me. I didn't do nothing to you. Eh. Look at this. I'm trying to not eat plant. I'm trying to help you guys and not eat animals. And you're over here going to attack me. Psycho. That's one of those crazy pups over there. It's a weird one. But yeah, that pizza, it was really good. The dough is like really fluffy. It's like, it's for people, it's a pizza for people that like to eat crust. I know it's weird to say, cause like some people like, 
like my um my stepdad for some reason he does not like pizza crust i don't know why he like gives it to the dogs every time they eat, they eat pizza it's funny but yeah so that pizza would not be for him that because it's all vegetables but even if you got a regular like meat lover ugh, just ugh, gross even saying that but a meat lover pizza like that's what he usually eats and even if he got that i don't think he'd like it because of the crust but anyways yeah so the pizza at that place so if there's anyone local to yuma that watches these videos and you're vegan obviously um go try that place out it's the pizza is really good uh the bad thing though is i don't know if there's milk in the dough i'm gonna have to call and double check with them because i asked them and obviously the person that helped me they didn't they had no free they don't know they didn't know <laughs> They had no idea. They're like, oh, they don't even know what cheese they were using. But I can tell it was like diet shreds. But yeah, I'm going to have to double check because like, oh, I did have like a, I don't know. It's kind of hard to say because like my stomach did hurt after I ate that. And usually I can tell when I have milk right away because my stomach hurts really bad and I have to go to the bathroom. But that same thing happened. But I did have really strong coffee. And when I have strong coffee, that does that to me too. So it's. So I think it was the coffee. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna vegans don't don't get mad at me, but I'm gonna try that again. Even if I don't know if it has, I don't think it has milk. I'm gonna double check though, because like pizza dough is literally just like flour, yeast, and or instead of yeast, they use baking soda and baking powder or whatever. It's not like there's no reason to use milk. Sometimes I know people do. Will you guys be quiet? I'm trying to film. Yeah, your dad's trying to film. Not, that's not very nice. That's kind of rude. Yeah. Looking at you. Yep. Yeah, those are my dogs. I don't know if you heard them before I pointed that out. I don't even know if you can hear them. Or if you guys just think I'm crazy. But I, um... I have two little black pugs. And for some reason, they're crying like crazy. I don't know if they hear something outside or they have to go to the bathroom. I don't know. They're a mystery. I just took them out before recording this to avoid them crying during the video, but still. <laughs> I, you guys have had to have heard that. That was funny. Why? Why are you crying? Don't cry. You guys try to feel not cool. But yeah. So that that place I recommend it. I'm gonna. Oh yeah. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna see if it is milk or if it was. I'm just not gonna have coffee that day when I have it. I actually think we're gonna do that for lunch this week because um, my mom actually got something when we went there too and she liked it so she's like yeah we gotta have that again next week or something and I was like okay sure so yeah we're probably gonna have that for lunch again and um, I'll let you guys know next episode if it was because they had milk or not or I'll just have, I'll update you guys in case there's some Yuma people here watching the videos that way you guys know that way you don't go through the same thing that way if you're lactose intolerant or something you don't yeah that would suck i can see i can i have i know what you guys feel like and that happens on like non-intentionally you have a milk product it sucks so i think i'm gonna go down and get some coal or not coal mine some cobblestone i'll be right and then i'm gonna check on my dogs too because i don't know why they're crying like little babies oh parkour yeah okay yeah i'm gonna i'll be right back let me put myself in here so i don't die so yeah my dogs end up having to go to the bathroom again creeper but yeah um that's gonna be it for today's episode we did a good amount we got all this cleared out and a little gardening area going so Next time you guys see this, I'm sure by next episode it's gonna be all full of wheat. Cause I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do anything else. Like I'm not gonna cut any trees, and I'll start the video right here next episode so you guys see it. So I'm not gonna cut any additional trees or nothing off camera. Off camera, I think I'm gonna just work on getting all this all filled out. All right. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, uh, leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed to see more of this vegan let's play and some possible other content I think I'm going to post on the channel. 
and um, hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button if you already haven't so that way you know when my videos get posted because if not you'll never know so it's, it's I don't know why it's like that it's weird it sucks but yeah